Well, hello, everyone. You know this is Anita and the Biz Coach, and I am coming to you as always with valuable information on the grant ready process. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is about how do you verbalize in your grant about your different partnerships, about your different collaborations that you form with other entities, such as other businesses, other nonprofits, community organizations, and such, okay? So when the reviewers are looking at your grant, they are looking for the different roles that you have formed with other entities to form partnerships, collaborations to establish and to implement your different programs, projects, whatever the case may be. All right. So what they're gonna be looking for is they want you to list your organization's local, regional, and even your national partnerships. And they want you to describe what the roles are that they play. What do, what does each partner do or how do they aid you in enhancing your program operations? So this can be about, you know, existing or new partners who you've invited to participate, maybe participate in a, a new grant proposal project that you're doing, okay? So some of the things or questions that funders want you to answer when you are verbalizing or writing this section or this information into your grant, uh, some of the questions they want you to answer are, who are your partners? So you want to be able to name them. You also want to be able to uh, tell how your partners represent the broader spect or sector you know, of your applicant organization's target population. So how do they help you serve who your target population is or your ideal client? What is it that they provide that will assist you in accomplishing your goal and your mission of what you're doing through this particular project that you're doing, all right? So the other thing, as I said before, is for your partner's roles. How, you know, have you included that in your overview? What have you talked about as far as what they will be doing in partnership with you to serve your target population? Because, you know, when you're forming partnerships, you know, and you are applying, you're the one that's applying for the grant. You are the administrator of the grant. And then your partners and those you collaborate with, they're more so maybe serve as contractors or subcontractors that you subcontract some of the work to or that you bring in to service some of your population or your clients, okay? So one of the other questions that you would be um, expect to answer is what level of commitment is your partners or are your partners giving you? Is it monetary or is it in kind? So of course we know what monetary is. They're giving you, you know, they write a check basically, right? So when we're talking about in kind, however, like I was saying before, that could be them working as a contractor. Maybe you're bringing them in to provide some type of service. Let's say maybe they're cooking the meals or providing the meals for your uh, target population, or they're providing some type of training or class, and they're not receiving any kind of monetary um, compensation for it. They're actually providing that service to you as an in-kind type of service, all right? So another question that the funders will want you to answer in your narrative when you're talking about your partnerships, uh, they want you to answer, are your partners, are they past partners, current, or proposed partners for maybe the grant proposal project that you're working on right now? Uh, another question that they may ask or look for is, did all of your partners involved in this particular project, have they written any letter, letters of commitment or MOUs, what we like to call memorandums of understanding? And have you included those documents in your grant proposal attachments? If you've been following me and you've heard some of my previous workshops or 
topics on this when you're forming partnerships. I talk about MOUs and how you are, um, that's just a part of maybe some of your attachments that you would upload when you're completing your online grant application, okay? So this is just a little information and a few tips on how to approach including information about your partnerships and collaborations into your grant application, okay? Well, you know how to find me. You know I am found on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook as Anita and the Biz Coach. If you need any help, you can always reach out to me and email me at info at Anita in the biz coach .com. Just let me know you want to schedule an appointment with me and you'll get a free consultation to see what type of grants you may apply for or how we can possibly work together to get you grant ready. Okay. I look forward to next time. So you guys take care.